Hello and welcome back to part three of A Splash of Paint. Now it's time for this week's Art Bites, where we'll be delving into the artistic archives to search for an inspirational bite-sized project from popular artist Marilyn Alice. As she shows us how to get the power of watercolour to paint people in a loose, impressionistic style. I'm just going to show you an example of how to paint white. A lot of my students are really scared of putting white clothes or white jackets into their figures and it's really easy. Uh, white is much easier than using colour and you'll be amazed at how much dark there actually is. I'll show you this example of this really elegant lady that was walking through the market. Now we can use two colours. We can either use a mix of ultramarine or burnt umber or intense violet. The intense violet will look quite good, so we use that on this lady. Just look for the dark shapes that it's making. You'll be amazed at how much is very, very dark, although your brain is telling you it's completely white. I'm just using the big wash brush. You don't want to use a tiny brush, a big brush will just make it a lot easier and a lot less fiddly. You can see I'm just looking at the shapes. I've drawn them in beforehand, not detail, but the shapes that the lights and darks are making. Some of these darks are very, very dark. Now her skirt, I use a mix of cobalt blue and a little bit of light red so it's not overly blue. I'm just touching that intense violet so it runs down a little bit. Oh, it's such a sunny day, it's really helped because those light and dark shapes are really defined ever so well. And now for the skin tone, it's just the mix of light red and sepia. paint over the whole arm and then I'll wash some of that out where the light's hitting it and the same with the legs. So take off the colour from your brush, you've got just clear water on there now. Just pull that colour out and do the same with the arm. A little bit of a face showing, but not a lot, so just a little bit of skin tone in there. The light red and the sepia again. The hair's grey, so we just use a little bit of the mix we use for the skirt, of the cobalt blue, with a little bit more light red added to it to make it greyer. The same mix as the skirt, but as you can see, you've made it slightly different now. And the soles of her shoes. And she's got a handbag which is actually blending in because it's white with the jacket. So we just make that a slightly different colour. Um, mix a little bit of raw sienna up. Otherwise it would just look a bit strange and you'll wonder what's sort of going on that side. And the last thing to do is the shadow, and we can use the intense violet for that. So, as easy as that. Time for an ad break now, folks. After the break, we will hear more from Malcolm Cudmore as he continues with his sketch of a cow grazing in a field. See you after the break. Mm -hmm. 